According to a report from MMA Junkie, Alex Oliveira is the latest fighter to exit the UFC roster after his contract ended recently and the promotion opted not to re-sign him to a new deal. Oliveira has been a mainstay with the UFC since 2015 when he first debuted with the promotion. Following a loss in his first fight against Gilbert Burns, Oliveira went on an impressive run with a 7-1 record with one no contest across his next eight appearances. Following those eight fights, Oliveira struggled to maintain the same kind of momentum as he bounced back and forth between wins and losses. The Brazilian Cowboy defeated notables such as former interim UFC champ Carlos Condit, former Bellator champ Will Brooks, Tim Means, Max Griffin, and other notable names under the UFC banner. Unfortunately, Oliveira fell on harder times in recent years after dropping his past four fights in a row, including losses to Shavkat Rachmanov, Randy Brown, and Nico Price. The final fight on his contract came in a TKO loss to Kevin Holland at UFC 272 back in March, which dropped his record to just 2-7 over his past nine fights. Last Saturday, Aljamain Sterling and Piotr Jan collided for the first time since their controversial March 2021 disqualification fight. In their UFC 273 rematch, Sterling was able to retain his UFC Bantamweight Championship via split decision. The win itself was quite controversial, as many fans believed that the Russian should have gotten the nod. Chael Sonnen has now given his take on the fight on his YouTube channel. In addition to believing that Aljo won the fight cleanly, he believed he could have won all five rounds. Here's what Uncle Chael said. I'm not certain that anything is going to be harder than he just did, and I'm not sure he was at his best. I'm really not. I think you'd have a tough time convincing me that Sterling was at his best when we all agree he gave two rounds away of a five-round fight. If he wanted to win all five, it looked like he could've. That's kind of what it looked like, as a matter of fact. Jan even did everything right. Jan was fast, he was hungry, Jan gave up absolutely zero positions, he changed strategy from round one to round four, he made adjustments. Sterling was just that damn good. What do you guys think of these comments from Uncle Chael? Do you agree that Eljo took his foot off the gas in the championship rounds? Leave your thoughts in the comments section. Hamzat Chimaev came through his toughest professional test to date on Sunday when he defeated number two ranked welterweight contender Gilbert Burns in a fight of the year contender at UFC 273. After the fight, the main topic of discussion was who's next? The UFC star did not miss the opportunity to comment on future potential opponents. Already several potential names have been thrown into the mix that could get into the ring with Hamzat. But what seems to have the most amount of fans excited is the name Kobe Covington. On Tuesday, Chimaev took to social media to look for his next opponent and sent the following message to UFC's leading welterweights. He tweeted, who is next? At Kamaru Usman, at Kobe Covington, at Leon Edwards. Shortly after, he blasted out another tweet writing, who is ready? Here's a clip of Hamzat discussing his next opponent and when he wants to fight again. Tell us, Hamzat, what would you like for your next fight? Dana White has said maybe after the fight, again, like, people want to see me for the title. I hope like I'm I'm ready for that. Yeah, I don't care, you know, like people that say, that, oh, he's number two ranked, I'm uh, going to finish it. I don't care. For me, it doesn't matter. I can't fight Colby, I can't fight Leon, I can't fight Usman, everybody. How soon do you think you'd want to get back and fight again? 
I have to go back and uh, fix my eyes and when I finish my face is good <laughs> and I'm gonna start to spot and how fast is possible and we'll be back. I'm in shape man, no. Well, I, you know, they, you know, Dana said that Leon Edwards would challenge next for the title. If something were to happen to either Leon Edwards or Kamaru, I'm ready. would you be ready? Yeah, <laughs> I love the quick I answer. Didn't, I didn't even have to get the, the question out. He was like, yo, I'm ready. Yeah. Yo, sign me up right now. In the buildup to UFC 273, UFC President Dana White said Colby Covington represented the most likely next opponent for Chimaev. But what do you guys think? Who would you like to see Hamzat fight next? Let us know in the comments section. Heading into UFC 273, a lot of fans were excited to see what Hamzat Chimaev could do against someone of Gilbert Burns' caliber. In the end, despite having to walk through fire, the Chechen fighter managed to get his hand raised with a hard-fought unanimous decision win. Speaking on BT Sports' UFC 273 review show, Michael Bisping discussed the positives of Hamzat's three-round war with Burns and why it is absolutely fundamental in the evolution of his fight career. Here's the clip. Yeah, listen, everybody wants to go out there and have the type of performances that Hamzat's given us in the past. You always want to dominate. You don't get paid for overtime is what they say. But that is absolutely instrumental in the uh, the evolution of his fight career, in my opinion. Yes, there was a lot of uh, questions answered. He can take a shot. He does have the heart. He can be the hammer and the nail because to be a true great in this sport, you've got to be able to be both. You know what I mean? If you, as soon as you start getting a bit of adversity and you start folding... Oh, well, guess what? It ain't, you know, the career's not going to pan out how you think it was going to be. Now, I think he's going to learn from that a tremendous amount because it looked to me, and maybe I'm wrong, and I'd love to speak to Darren and all the boys, uh, Darren Till and all the guys in his camp, but it looked to me like Hamzat thought he was just going to do whatever he always does. Do whatever he wants. Walk out there, no game plan, just be the bigger guy, the stronger guy, the better guy, the faster the guy, just the superior man in every way, right? Because he wasn't really fighting to his ability. Uh, and what, what I mean, uh, sorry, fighting to his strengths. He wasn't using his reach. He wasn't using his range. He wasn't staying out the pocket and picking him apart and then mm. going in. There wasn't particularly uh, an amount of strategy there from Hamza. It was just fight. Gilbert's the shorter guy. Yeah. Hamza's by top four, taller, longer. He could have made that, and this sounds disrespectful to Gilbert, that's not what I'm doing, but he could have had a better game plan. He could have stayed on the outside more, used his reach and his range, then mixed in the takedowns. There was none of that. He was like, I'm, let's just stand in the pocket and throw down because he's used to that paying off and his opponents falling down. So as I say, I think he'll learn from this and he'll come out of it a better fighter, to your point, Nick, and I'll shut up now. Both men won, in my opinion. Absolutely fantastic. Love them both. Massive fan. Here are the top three memes you guys posted on MMAMemes.com. In third place is a meme posted by user Kitana. Second place goes to Anju Kumar. And the number one voted meme was posted by a user named Tonic Mix. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, go to MMAMemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.